Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So in this video, this is going to be the one of the um, March picks for uh, from the viewers. This is an Alliance antenna rotor. Uh, I believe this is what... Um, I'm not really completely sure what the heck it is. But uh, here it is. Um, I, I, yeah. So we're going to crack this thing open and see what's inside of it. All right. So, this is like really old, like, bake light kind of stuff. Um, so, I'm trying to figure out if any of this stuff... There's flathead screws there, so let's start off with that. Let's see where that gets us. There's always going to be screws. Looks like one might have already been removed. I'm not sure exactly what I expect to find in this. You know, I'm guessing I mean, it's electric. <clears throat> so you know, I would imagine, first and foremost, there's probably going to be a um, <laughs> hidden screw. Um, I imagine some kind of probably transformer or some other kind of copper bearing component and lots of screws all right so this thing right here this will have screws in it but that is aluminum so put that aside yep big transformer a little light bulb um, and a rotation reverse switch so I guess it's for rotating uh, those old antennas that people used to put on their roofs for their TV um, Hmm. Yep. Pretty aged. So first, I'm going to uh, remove the wire. See that in there. So we've got that. This I, I'm not going to bother stripping. Um, the wires just not thick enough. I might pull out the brass because you know my forge that I keep talking about. I'm going to be you know, making some brass ingots. <clears throat> All right, and I see. Oh, that might be silver and more brass. Now keep in mind that a lot of these older electronics, um, you know, during different time periods, different metals were used. You know, because of you know, their cost. Um, and keep in mind that at one point aluminum cost four times more than gold. So this, right on the end of that, could be silver. I'll have to test it. It could also be some you know, like palladium um, or palladium plated or, or something. So it's, I'm not going to assume it's silver, but I'm going to you know, test it at some point. And same with the, the other piece on there, right at the tip. Brass. Now, really, the, the best way to get these little things out of there, um, it's just you know, a small pair of pliers. I try and um, get the pliers so that the edge of the tooth is on there and on the exact bottom of it, and then I just pry it like that. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, uh, I almost lost it. Almost lost it again. There it is. So there it is. It really looks silver though, so it might be silver. But anyway, the acid was sorted out. So stick that in there. Do the same with this one. Again, I don't know if you can see on the reverse, you can see where it goes all the way through. That's like a little round circle there. And then on that, so again, I put my plier tooth right on the edge and then just twist the base and then it just pops right out. All right, so far aluminum, brass, silver, wire, not too bad, not too bad. More wire. All right, oh, looks like there's another one. More brass. So. Here. 
here. All right. Yeah, this is getting a little awkward. I'm not quite sure how. Oh, yeah, those little. Got these little uh, locking washers on there. Which is why I like to keep several pairs of these things. So I've already got a. I always have like a, a dull sit around for stuff like that. That's just, now it's rusted so I can tell it's steel. Yep. Okay. That's more wire. And this is more steel. So that's going to go into the light iron pile. More wire. So there's another couple of pieces of brass here that I knocked loose. Um, no silver contacts on them though. Well, actually, those kind of look like copper, not brass. Oh, huh. so more of a copper color. See the difference? All right. <clears throat> Moving forward. Alright, so we've got a tiny little bulb. Which, if you really want to go for it, that's probably brass right there as well. there's our transformer. Now this is the type that looks like every single spin around is wrapped in paper so I'm not even gonna bother trying to take that one apart for making copper ingots. Um, it's good size, good good weight so I'll you know, just keep it like that for the transformer bucket. Uh, let's see we've got this panel that came off and the um, area where the, the light bulb is sitting in. Uh, that thing in there is brass as well. We've got those two little pieces of copper that I just showed you that were part of like the, the switch. There is a piece of ferrous material here that was, you know, that you'd turn the dial on this side and it would make the connection to you know, make the antenna turn one way or the other. Um, so that's just ferrous material if you want to go digging for that. And all that's left is a chunk of steel at the bottom and a little bit of wire. It looks like, well, no, there's something else in there. Dang it. All right. All 
you people who uh, hate it when I use this chisel for other things. Very sorry. Very sorry. I got this for nothing. This is a chisel that I use for everything. This is not one of my good wood chisels. So, sorry if that offends you. Alright, so we got the steel plate here. Then we got this thing at the bottom. Which I have no clue what it is. Oh, this looks like a big capacitor or something. But I don't know. So any of you there's no writing on it, there's nothing on it. So if any of you guys know what this is, put it in the comments. Let everyone else know. The end here is gooey, it's it's like tar. Yeah, it even smells like tar. Uh, and that looks like aluminum. Yep. Nothing in it, it's magnetic. So if you know what that is, post it in the comments. Looks like a big firecracker. Alrighty. And finally, we've got looks like a few more little pieces of brass. Yep. Hit that with a magnet, just double check. Brass. Yay. And this Oops, oh, I got the whole thing that time. Hmm. All right, so I think I've got everything out of that that I want. And that is like old big light stuff, so I don't think that's even recyclable. Unfortunately, that has to go into the garbage. And I don't know that I'll be able to get those out very easy. However, I did get the rest of them, which is kind of nice. So I am happy with that. So let's sum up everything that we've got here. So we've got brass so got a little bit of brass there we've got the plug here clip off the end Brass. More brass. Alright, so we got this little handful of brass, which brass is pretty heavy, so you know it adds up. So we'll keep that. We've got a little pile of wire. that. Now I know a lot of people have been asking recently you know for weights and stuff like that and I used to do that but I, I don't really do that a lot anymore and the reason for that is because um, number one not all these things are gonna be the same so the amount of wire that I find in this one you may not find in whatever you're taking apart and um, you know the, the second reason is that you know a lot of people ask for values and stuff like that I mean these videos are up for well, technically forever unless YouTube goes down um, so the scrap price of whatever I'm pulling out today won't be the same as um, the scrap price you know, two years from now when someone watches it. So it kind of doesn't make much sense for me to be posting that. Um, so that's that's why I have not been putting weights and values. More of a just, you know, this is what I found in here. All right. So then we got this little piece of aluminum. Not a whole lot, but it's aluminum. Got this heavy transformer, and the rest is just steel and stuff. So that's it for the antenna rotor. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, and also make sure that if you want to be in the running for the 100,000 subscriber giveaway, that you uh, subscribe to the channels that I have listed in the video description. And that's it. That's all it takes to enter. So again, thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.